Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, this is the show right here, everybody. That happens just about every day, Monday through Friday. I'm your host, Mike Matthews. Welcome to Mike's Daily Podcast, located somewhere in Podcaster Valley, Mont, the last place on earth. Yes, the last show was called Hair because I talked a little bit about hair in Hollywood and hair. And hair is just too much. Mike's Daily Podcast. Too much talked about hair talk is what I'm saying in the world. Mike's Daily Podcast. Some people have it. Some people don't. Some people wish. Some people won't do anything about their hair. They just let it get all mangy and whatever. Some people color it weird colors. And you're like, that doesn't look good. What are you thinking? Change that. That's. And then some people don't like the hair they have, so. Mike's Daily Podcast. They put on a wig. Or they're bald. And they put on a toupee. It's. Mike's. All kinds of. Daily. Options. Podcast. And that was the last show. Yeah! Hair is what we called it. But. And I was at Green Ridge in the picture. A beautiful area, not too far from my house. And the sun was setting. It was nice. Well, yesterday, I was, I got home. Very busy day. We have someone that's going to be starting at, at the company I work for. And I had to do a little bit of training. But I got home. I was so tired because of all this. You know what it is? It's getting up early. Some of you can get up early and you have no problem with it. Me, it's like, ah, I can't, it's the body has a tough time adjusting to it. However, sleeping in, not, not any better. You get too much sleep and that's not good for you either. The podcast picture today was from four years ago. I think I was sleeping in back in those days. And it's a podcast picture from the Hayward Regional Shoreline. I was actually there this past weekend. It did not look like this. It was very cloudy and rainy, but this picture is very clear. And I'm so glad I'm not flying these days because it is bad. And now we've gone from the shutdown to the discussion of gas because. And here's today's podcast picture. Apparently a lot of people. Who are involved in this whole shutdown Because of their government job Are like, you know what? You won't give me a paycheck You say this is for the border wall And this is something we need Blah, blah, blah But I can't get to work Because I can't afford the gas And it's odd because we're at a time When gas prices have fallen pretty low they're not the lowest they've been, obviously, but they're, they're lower than they were a little while ago. And But hey, it comes down to a matter of I can't get to work. And a lot of these federal jobs for the employees, they're far, they live far away from them. So it is now a matter of um, they, they just they can't do it anymore. My whole point is It always comes down to something Like an immovable force Gas is something You need to be moved You need a force to move you To the desired location So because of that Now we have this discussion And Liberal talk radio Would have so much to talk about right now (laughs) But there is no liberal talk radio There's conservative talk radio And they can jump all over The Indian man that walked into the group of Whitey white white uh, Kentucky Catholics Which that to me is a contradiction I lived in Alabama I don't remember seeing any Catholics The whole time I lived in Alabama I think there was one Catholic church In Huntsville And they just called it The Catholic church Because there wasn't any other ones There wasn't a St. Michael A St. Joseph a Saint Ignacio It was just the, the Catholic Church So those Kentucky kids 
that were what what are a bunch of boys doing at a pro life rally anyway? They don't have to their uterus isn't involved in any of this. I don't get that. So they're there. And it, it, basically these things, you know what they are. It's a free for all. This was a very conservative march. The liberal marches are just as bad if not worse. You've got 80 million causes going on around. It may be, you know, uh, the women's walk, but women have a lot of different issues they want to stand up for. So you get a mishmash and people the the media will make fun of that. I remember the Daily Show making fun of it. I remember some stupid Fox thing making fun of the the 99% what was it? Occupy. And people go Breitbart when he was still alive, he went to one of these rallies and was just laughing at this one guy and saying, "You're an animal, you're an animal." And the whole Breitbart website got kicked off and that dude with the shaggy hair that looked like a overweight librarian that Bannon, that guy who uh, ran things for Trump for a while. But now we've got this. So it just there, the liberal there is no liberal media. This is what we got from the quote unquote liberal media about the whole kids at the Lincoln Memorial and the Indian playing his music and then the kids getting all inappropriate acting idiotic around him they got this this is what you got on NPR liberal radio liberal yeah the liberal media gave you this it, they said oh you know yeah that looked really bad they were being really mean Basil he would never be mean to any Indians they were being really mean to him. But if you look at the overall footage, it tells a different story. If you listen to what the guy, what the kid said that was actually face to face with the Indian protester, it's a different story. They always give you the other story. Whereas conservative media is, no, nope, those kids were right. That Indian walked right into their group and was being obnoxious. And it all has to do with the uh, Black Israel Youth Group that was shouting epithets, epithets, epi, epiladies. So that's what it, what it is. Is I don't know what I mean. Liberal is that? Do you see the difference? Was that a sentence? Do you see the difference? Conservative talk radio. Throws the opinion right in your face. I know this. I work for a conservative talk radio station. But yes, you... It it gets shoved right in your face. The host will say, blah, blah, blah. This is what I saw. Blah, blah, blah. This is what it is. Whereas liberal media is, well... It could be this. Well... It could be that. We don't want to say that what we really think... Even though it does seep into the message, but... You know, because we want to come off looking like we're fair and balanced. Fox was like, ooh, I like that. I'm going to steal that. They don't use that anymore, but... Yeah. I. So my lovely lady friend pointed out, had those white kids been black, and let's say this was at a women's, the women, the women's march the next day, and let's say they walked up to a uh, evangelical white kid and got in his face. Oh, ho, ho, ho. completely different story. No apologizing for the Catholic kids then. That would, it was, that was just, that, so that was what was going on. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we bring you Mike Silly podcast, somewhere in Podcaster Valley. At first, I'm like, any story that starts off, oh, did you see the video that went viral? No. No, I, this is, I get on YouTube on the weekends, occasionally during the week, I have to for my job, but, but it's not a thing that I might, I, oh, I gotta go watch YouTube for a couple hours today. So, at any rate. Good point all around. Liberal media isn't really liberal. My lovely lady friend is right. 
there is a, a, a contradiction here. A double standard going on with these Catholic kids. I don't know. So I went to... Oh, here's a couple other quick things. My lovely lady friend and I both went to Catholic school. I went... Uh, uh, I was in an all-boys Catholic school for one year, freshman year. And then by sophomore year, they had started integrating women, girls. And so what that meant was the freshman class and sophomore cl- more class had girls but then the junior and senior classes were still all boys which meant that all the older boys that the girls were attracted to that were so basically the freshman boys and sophomore boys had no chance at all because the girls were interested in the older boys and so then eventually what happened was then the next year that freshman class became the junior class then the junior class so, so it became integrated within the next two years of both genders it was gender specific and it identified that way back in that day when I was in high school so what happened was what I discovered was my first year being there with an all boys catholic school it gets crazy it's just not right to have a bunch of boys day in and day out in class doing P.E. It, it, it's very aggressive. It's not a good atmosphere at all. I did not like it. I would not put my kids in that situation. For one thing, that's not what the real world is. I'd rather be it closer to what the real world is. So they are they are already odd kids to begin with that are out there. The what, What's the name of their school? Anyway, the Kentucky school. Something with a C in the title. I forget. And they had uh, so they're already a little what why are they and why are they even at this march so they're pro life yeah they're catholics i get it but they're they're guys i mean what so at any who but they decided to take their uteruses to that march and get in the face of a indian who's getting in their face anyway cafe anyway that's the end of the show today I know we probably exhausted this topic. And probably you are saying at this point. Anyway. And that's good because we have moved on. and We're already thinking about the next show. Because first off, we haven't said hi to these people. Oh my God, it's jelly. It's too hard to give stuff to your visor. It's cold out here today. So cold in the Bay Area. 30s. I know where you are. Might be a little warmer. Colder. Freezing. Below freezing. But that's how it is here. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. I was offended when I saw that video. But if you get offended, that's the way the cookie crumbles. No. <laughs> YouTube offends me. See? Don't watch YouTube because it's offensive. And YouTube is cracking down on things like, well, they're, they're cracking down on those stupid challenges. Remember that ice bucket challenge? Oh my god, everybody. That got that got too big. And then it turned out the money didn't get used right that was being raised by that. I challenge you, Floyd, to dump water on your head. No way, I'm offended. Alright, don't then. Yeah, so, the, the oh, Kamala Harris! Woohoo! Yes. She is now Wow, 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 wow. Running for president. Go, Kamala. I would imagine. You, well, this, there'll be uh, women that are moms that might call themselves the Kamala Mamas. No? That's not going to be a thing? Anyway, it's just a suggestion. I was just making a suggestion. At any rate, yeah. So, the. They're banning all these stupid, dangerous challenges and people doing things like eating laundry detergent and stupid stuff. Ugh! How dumb. Now that we've bashed on YouTube enough, I think we'll wrap up the show. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. Thanks for listening. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.